oh boy, you're in color. I wonder how much of this come out. Because I now see like it now going live. Uh, why is in the chat if... Why is in the chat if it's live? If you're watching this after the fact, this is a live video, so it's not to the point. I'll be engaging the chat and stuff like that. So if you looking for that, if you're watching before your exam, this may not be the video for you. However, I'll try to be as to the point as I can be. and explain as much of this as I can. Alright, so good night. Good night to everybody in chat. Ren, Jared, uh, Malia, Shemaine, Arif. Good night. Uh, let's see how much of calculus we can do tonight. This is one of the topics that is, is in AdMats is almost unbelievably easy. Once you understand AdMats, almost, you hear what I say? Unbelievably easy. Especially for people, one unbelievably easy how they're gonna bring this um, at maths. All right, so I'm trying to bring up some questions here. As the, as the questions, I have to write the questions, right? So, as the where are these questions? Okay, then. We'll just give me a second, right? Problems in the internet here. In the meanwhile, you could press like on the video. If you're watching this after you had a skip ahead. All your feeling how's the exams you want to close off the live chat press like on the video bring it back up tell them lead so notifications will probably not run out uh people will say me house today so no not covid 19 kind of sick so i couldn't um didn't get a chance to come on live as i wanted to Interesting. Alright, so let's start from the beginning. Let's start from the beginning. So, limits. Is this going to come? Very likely not. I can't remember ever seeing a question on limits in the... Anybody ever see a question on limits? Um, CXE or heard about CXE bringing a question and limits in the paper one don't think so but let me just see this is the formula for the limits um, it based off of this graph where you have like X and you have um, what was the convention they're using here they use del X um, You have f of x here and f of x plus the change in x, the small change in x. Um, you may see h in the beginning and they have x and x plus h, that kind of thing. So we're just using x plus the x here. So the difference here is this small, this small change delta x or del x as some people say. Um, in x and this this change here, the small change in y which is really f of uh, f of x plus del x plus f uh, sorry subtract because you want to change right f of x divided by del x so it's like you're finding the gradient of this line and because the change is so small so minute remember calculus is the mathematics of change right so 
differentiation deals with like the, the rate of change the gradient when you differentiate something you get a gradient function you saw that in the paper right this is the formula we use so sometimes you may see hf of x plus h plus f of x all over the h or sometimes you may see um f of x plus del x at all, so not plus this should be minus so i keep saying plus the rest you teaching this but f of x divided by del x or delta x and this is your dy dx but there's a little thing with this is the limit as x approaches h or the limit as x approaches the small change in x or limit as x approaches anybody do understand this um, so that in no not in a paper two in a paper one okay in a paper one no more questions we're really going on here boy all right let me go on the student hub and see see what we have anybody on the student hub right now could send me some questions CSEC at maths what's the functions question hey somebody just say we live you all, if I take a little while to get going, sorry about that. Eh? The sending solutions and thing. Logs, one star logs and thing inside here. Right, I've seen, a, I've seen lots of questions, but nothing on. This is a real good help, boy. Wow, well, they're doing a good job. I just need to say that. They're doing a good job inside here. So let's take a little peek at some differentiation style questions. You must get a question like differentiating either the, with the product rule or the quotient rule. But first, you should understand am I in focus? I'm not picking up, so I'd again cross here up. You must understand differentiation on a whole. So like if y is equal to x and I say differentiate it, dy dx is equal to 1. If y is equal to x squared, what is the differential of that? What is the differential of that folks? A would it be 1? B would it be 2? C would it be 2x? Um, D, will it be, X cube over 3, which one will it be? And then if we begin to train some more in the part, in the party, like if we say Y is equal to AX squared, or AX cube, A is it, so this is question one. So any answer you'll indicate which question you're answering for. Would this be would this be three ax? Would it be three ax squared? Would it be three ax to the power of four? Would it be three over four ax to the power of four? So which one is, is it? So yes, this is 2x. This is c. So you all understand what happens when you differentiate. And the next one, so the, the, the general rule we use to differentiate in like these simple tiny things would be like if I have y is equal to ax to the power of n, I need to drop this down by 1. And I also need to multiply by the whole power. dy dx. Now other ways of expressing dy dx, you can say f dash x. Differential, the first derivative. Um, and if I want to do it twice, I put an x, that's d2y dx squared. That's like a differentiate twice there, right? So very simple. So the answer for this one must be this, must be b. Now you should also know how to differentiate trigonometric functions like sine and cosine in this case. No need to worry about tan for add maths, tan x, 
I don't really see that so, but you know, let's do it anyhow. So y is equal to sine x. What's dy dx? And if y is equal to cos x, there is a, a question that comes all the time, like they might say, is right. It's a little fancy ways, but just be a stupid little question. Um, by the way, I, I'm going to do a full marathon on admat. This is just a, a, a warm up. I'm going to do a full marathon on admat. It's Wednesday. It's on Instagram. I'm going to do a full marathon. Everything. Um, lots and lots of questions on admat. Just what I think you should study and what you should prepare for and that kind of thing. If y is equal to tan x, what is dy dx? Mm. Wow, now you have any. I just said you don't see Wednesday, Wednesday. So, yeah. I'll come and treat real questions, that's not like just get some of this out anyway. I'm going to do some questions and differentiate them. I've seen something blink up in the corner of the screen here, that must be the green screen just spazzing. Yeah, that the green screen spazzing. You get some answers now? Nah? Oh, come on, I see no answers. Do you need that strong? D is the delay that strong. This thing looking by the way, this is add maths. Eh? So if you're doing if you're doing maths, the differential of cos x is not cos x. So oh the differential of sin x is cos x, right? Is cos x. The differential of cos x is negative sin x. And the differential of tan x is what? Anybody know what is the differential of tan x? Now I really see that in admats. I don't think I ever see that in admats except probably back in days. If you have any pure mass people in here taking a little while up. That's something you need to know as well. I think the delay real dread by let me just time how long the delay is. That's the time I draw this one there. The delay between me talking and the chat. <laughs> so we go load on the tannix. Sex square X. And that's the reason they don't really bother with this. Tan is something you said, that's correct. Because uh, the sec that already we don't really deal up with that in the advance. So you should know this, and obviously you should know your product rule, and you should know your quotient rule. So if you have your product rule, is u dv dx plus v du dx. Some people learn it with this first, and then that whatever flow the boat is addition, so it's commutative. It doesn't matter which way we go. This one you must. You must keep your V's and U's and everything in the proper spot. Um, v squared du dx minus u dv dx. So this is like the method I used to memorize this. You have to know this, right? Yeah. So put the V here and put the V here. This one square. But always remember a common mistake students make when they're doing this and they have something like this in your multiple choice. Is that they cancel off one of the V's here when it's time to do the when it's time to do the question? I think it's time we can we can visit that question here. Yeah, Jema, get to see her. Nah, second who said nah, Admas. Well then got, but got unfair, unfair advantage. A man doing maths as a degree. So let's do a differentiation question. Let's do a quotient rule. Let's say I have to differentiate this. The differential of 2x minus 1 over 5 minus x. 
Give me some answers there. Differentiate that, give me some answers. And anybody have any differentiation questions and any student have you could post it there now. So post any differentiation question and I'll do it live at here. They divide, um, you could divide it and come up with a little quotient and a remainder and then well, uh, is real back and all. Just use the, it's the, you're dividing so you're going to use the quotient rule, U for V. Quotient rule, just apply the formula man, just apply the formula. So, let's begin to do it. So let's say U is equal to 2X minus 1, you say DU DX is equal to 2. Then you write, you just come and write your V here now. V is equal to 5 minus X dV dx. You don't stop me anytime and ask me any questions. It's equal to negative 1. You understand how I get that? Because you can differentiate this, right? You can differentiate that. Now we just apply the rule. The rule says, we'll just copy and paste it from before. This. When we have this scenario taking place, uh, V is... 5 minus x u du dx is 2 minus u is negative 1 um, dv d u is uh, um, sorry I was wrong u is 2x minus 1 it, it, it is always be like this now that kind of scenarios take place so 2x minus 1 will have to multiply by the negative 1 now which in other words will just change this to positive so it's more like positive and i guess do that there one time and underneath we'll have v squared which is 5 minus x to b squared all right take a little peek back at this, this question So these are the choices you have. You have choices like negative 9 over 5 minus x squared. You have 9 over 5 minus x squared. Everything over 5 minus x squared. You have negative 9 minus 4x over 5 minus x squared. To be squared, I should say 5 minus x. All to be squared. And finally, you have 9 minus 4x over 5 minus x to be squared. Let me see if we have any questions. I do not like for chemistry, I will do a life for physics. So, Mikhail, Marianne, all of them saying that it's this one. Uh, let's see. So some kind of breaking down scenario we don't have there. So this is 10, 5 by 2 now. And this is take away 2x plus 2x minus 1. So in the end, these two will cancel. Because like, uh, it's like a multiplied by so. By so, by so. And the 2x and the minus 1, I can just drop the brackets now. There's nothing on the outside already deal with the negative 1. So in the end, again, 10. This minus belong there. So 10 minus 1 is 9. So yes, this is going to break down. That's sweet. 9 over 5 minus x to be squared. Now these are students submitted questions. These questions have to look like I see in like that this is a CAT question. Straight up and I'm going to write it back. Alright, so let's try another one. What about if we had 
y is equal to 2x squared plus 3. And we ask to differentiate that. What, is, what are the answers you think we're, we're going to get here? 3 cos of x. And we ask to find dy dx. Let's see our answers will Plus x plus four x four x minus three sine x people don't pay the answer already. Simple thing, right? So, so you want to treat this? I can't answer questions right now. Hi, I'm on a live right now, so I can't answer questions right now. So this is 2 by that, so 4, this drops down by 1, so 4x plus, and you can just treat this as differentiate in this alone, hey, not a plus, so since the differential of sine x is cos x, the differential of cos x is negative, and you put in your sine x here, and you just bring back a treated line there, so we're going for the answer there boys, boys and girls. That's the answer we've been for. Don't forget to press like if you just touched up. This is at maths, not maths. So if you're doing maths, don't get frightened. This is coming. Let's try another question. So these are the easy questions. Then you can ask the questions involving stationary points. So this question someone sent says x is x to the power 4 minus 15. We have a stationary point at negative 2, 5. We have a stationary point there. And you know the nature of the stationary point. Whether it's a minimum a maximum an inflection oh yeah it's called inflection my point of inflection I just fly off my mind I hope inflect Sean yeah where the trouble is this way inflection Inflection. Hmm? Looking a little weird on the paper, but it's good. Inflection. Or oh. the next thing them is right, boy. Some kind of weird thing they say, boy. They say vertex or something. So what kind of stationary point is that? This is a differentiation question. Remember we're dealing with differentiation right now. This is a differentiation question. Yes. So can you explain ln and e? I have a real video so that up right now. So right now I'm focusing on differentiation. So you can always just go and search Cohen Springer logs. I have it explained at a pure maths level. And I have it explained at a hard maths level as well. Explain. Yo Ben, why is the word? Billy. Inflation. <laughs> some people say minimum, some people say maximum. Well, it's a, it's a differentiation question. And how do you tell where these things are? At the stationary point, yeah, yeah, the, the key to testing it is like the 2y dx squared. 
So you differentiate it twice and then substitute and see if it's positive or negative. Well, the teacher's teacher later, you differentiate the function twice. You substitute the x value into that wherever you get. If that is positive, minimum. If it's negative, maximum. If it's zero, back and out. <laughs> Let me see. So y is equal to x to the power of 4 minus 15. So dy dx is equal to 4x cubed d2y dx squared is equal to 12x squared substitute x equal negative 2 so this is equal to 12 by negative 2 to the squared so this is equal to a positive number because this square up so this is equal to positive and since it's positive it means oi minimum point positive minimum double differentiate then plug in the values so we will leave on termish, but we can take it. Alright, Jamar get 48 as well. Hey, so your WhatsApp with us some questions. Don't know. Which one of my WhatsApps? Do you know how much messages I have on my WhatsApp right now? Can you see this number here? No, it's not focusing. 999 messages. 999 messages, people. Alright, I find it. First person and talk. Alright, so I'll do some of these questions as well. In fact I will do all. All I just doing I just I just grinding um differentiation tonight. Uh, and integration. So that's it for differentiation from this person. Now we try differentiation from this person now. Wait until he checks in. <laughs> um, here we have a next one. So this person said y is equal to x squared over x plus 3. And they want to find dy dx. <laughs> Excuse me. And the answers they have is negative 3x, x plus 2, x plus 3 to be squared, and b, 3x, x plus 2, x plus 3 to be squared Let's see after I do this business I will check in the student hub do some more I'll try to have many differentiation questions as I can and then I'll go to the integration part of life so you see that quotient rule is popular quotient rule is popular make sure you can organize up your quotient rule nice and which one of these answers you're feeling not feeling, eh? Feeling. <laughs> Which one of these answers you all enjoying for this question here? There's another question. Let me start writing all the other question. I'll copy it just now. Um, they want to know what is the gradient? The other question, what is the gradient? At x is equal to pi on 6 where when the curve is y is equal to plus x so what is the gradient so as the next question one time line it up copy cut it What is that vertex? A vertex is this. That's a vertex. <laughs> so it's not really applying to a minimum point. We'll see. There are other means of vertex. Not really. Chain rule. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, it depends on what you mean by the chain rule here. <laughs> Not how they teach you it for like pure um, admins. Coming back to you, boy, you take a cool long day. So, dy dx, so for this one, um,
I don't know. Yeah, any at any match was not to on the night Ted go to sleep trembling. <laughs> like, oh god, what is where's this my teacher never teach me this? I just get messages after every single Admat's life. I just get messages. Some people just do not know Admat is a subject that exists. Alright, so you're just putting this as U and V. Simple, simple. So U is X squared and differentiate that now. The U, the Y, the U, the X. Can upside down thing is this, bro. 2X. And you put in V as X plus 3. Why right, this thing looking so complicated for Y? DV, DX, and it's such simple little tiny stuff. 1. So, why does this person send me when I leave on something? Or? All right, let me see what happening here. So the the legend says that it should be dy dx is equal to v du dx minus u dv dx. This is a terrible minus sign. I don't tell them all the mistakes people is making. Eh? As a teacher, people just make a mistake by cancelling or something here, and they always mess up this negative sign, and they'll have that waiting for you in the exam. Don't let that trap you, you know, matrix or anything. So V, X plus 3, du dx, 2x, minus U, x squared, divided by V squared, x plus 3 to V squared. So this is 2x squared plus 6x minus x squared all over x plus 3 what what back canal is this to be squared so all of them are x plus 3 to be squared and we cannot see an answer for them here we cannot see an answer so what they'll do is they'll, they may not just give it straight up on one time when you differentiate and you reach down here again they same answer no they wouldn't give it like that they'll make you like be able to think out which one of it so this will work with that and make a friend and that you should get like x squared plus 6x because this was 2 and this is 1 so it lost 1 right so this is x plus 3 to b squared d d d i get some d's and that's correct then taking out the x now like d you get x into x plus 6, x plus 3 to be squared. Why is in each other if you understand that? Practice your quotient rule, it's going to come. Practice your product rule. If the quotient rule come, that will come. Must come. Make sure you differentiate that trigonometric function sine cosine. It must come. Must come. Right? We try the next question. This person send and I already made the question already. So the gradient, so the gradient at x equal this for the curve y is equal to cos x. A x if you get to move with the cos x. Curve y equal to cos x is look like this. And the gradient of the gradient of this curve, when you find the gradient of the cos x curve, is the sine x, but the negative version. So your sine is like this. So it's like this. Because if you think about it, if you go and check out like how the gradient of the curve will go and going along, it's going down, it's going up down, it's going back down. So when you say the gradient of the sine x curve is the cos x curve, it's just, just weird like that. Fun stuff, maths, you know? So the gradient of this, just differentiate and get the gradient function. dy dx, negative sine x. Substitute or oh, shocks, I forget to put the answers. What answers this person had for this? Alright, so they have square root of 3 and 2, negative version. They have negative a half, they have square root of 3 and 2, and a half. So, which one is it going? Some people think negative, negative, oh gosh. Abahi from India. I use this channel. Bye bye. <laughs> so um, you're substituting pi and six into this. 
So now you have negative sine pi on 6. What is that? Now, the time to introduce you to one piece of news. If you don't know your general angles like this, you're supposed to know this. If you don't know that, um, you are allowed with your calculator and you, you are allowed to have a calculator in the um, Atmos exam. So let me just show you this calculator. Time to shine. And always be happy to come out on these lives calculator. Come up. Come up, my brother. Um, how do I get you up? No capture. Clip. Nice. Nice. So, what you're going to do is just type it in straight. Straight negative sign pi on 2. Now, you know, this isn't anybody's in a little problem. Now, if you look, if you look really good, you'll see a problem here. The problem I'm having is bam weird answer because i'm in degrees now because you have multiple choice most likely they wouldn't have a, the answer that you would get for degrees waiting for you they're not going to be that okay but just make sure you know how to change your calculator into radians if it line degrees and now but oh it's pi and six sorry pi and six negative a half Right, pi and 6 is the same as 30 degrees. Sine of 30 degrees is a half. So negative sine 30 degrees. Negative a half. Sine of 30 degrees is a half. So negative sine 30 degrees, negative a half. Why is it chat if you understand that? Yeah, you can differentiate on the calculator as well. But it has to be a... Yeah, so like you can actually put the whole cos x and differentiate on the calculator like, like from the start. But that's like overdoing it. I mean anybody can differentiate cos x. But let me just show you just in case cos... Uh, no, first you press the differentiate. Shift, differentiate. Cos x. Cos alpha x where when x is pi and 6. Jerry, anytime I forget you can do something on the calculator, just tell me in the chat this so or just show people. Hey, pi and 6, bro. Am I, am I, did I do the right thing? Um, what is happening? Pi and 6. I keep putting pi on my own thing this far away. French. Oh, I'll leave another brackets. I have cos x. I have an open bracket here, but I didn't close them up. Take a close up there, brother. I hope you close up properly. Right. Negative 0 0.5. And it's giving you it in fraction form one time. So just giving it in a decimal. Indeed. Alright. So that's not fair. That's life. Life's not fair. <laughs> yes, this is fair. This is fair. This is this is differentiating when you have when you know the x value that you're aiming for and you'll get a numerical answer. A calculator made crunch numbers. So if you have to differentiate cos x just so they will not tell you the differential of cos x is sin x. But if you need to differentiate cos x and you know where you are going and the differential of the function, they will give you the answer. So the same thing with um the uh, integration, definite integrals, you can do them. So do sine x plus 20 but degrees well uh, let me know where you sign the one it will, it will mean degrees right so it will be let's say plus pi radians you'll be able to get your answer yeah anything you can do any function now you see you had x squared here as well shift x squared no, alpha x squared plus what plus all right let me make it like this give this this is a this will be like card for you to do 
Yeah. Anything, anything. Once you know the X value on the that you aiming for. Very yeah, it very, very, very helpful in multiple choice. But in like a paper too, it wouldn't crack the code. It wouldn't crack the it would just make you know the answer. Which could have you get a one mark, which is useful as well. Very useful actually. Useful as well. Let me see the next question, this person. Had. Anybody here could go all night, boy? Um, the next question this person had It's not fair that I have a calculator for math. I mean, math is so easy to put in calculator for math to just be like, hmm? All you are waiters are looking at the curve C is given by the equation y is equal to 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 12x. I hope these are random questions that they're sending me here. And if, if these questions are not random questions, if this is somebody question from a book or anything, just message me and I will have it removed. Once you can prove it, prove it. Once you can prove it. But even so, it's just an equation. Nobody has rights to this equation. And you also, know, y is equal to 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 12x plus 6. The values of x at which the stationary point at the x values of stationary point. So just tell me how you do this. How would you do this question? Why is I putting all the answer? What is the procedure for this? CX it brings questions like these. Alright. I fed up because Jim, you must be new to the channel. I always going through I, I always going through all the things you can use. In fact I have a whole video on a calculator on this calculator alone, going through some of the things you can do with the calculator. Somebody say all night. Differentiate y, set it to 0, get x. Differentiate first, then find x values. A little thing, you need to set it to 0 first. Because at the stationary point, differential is equal to 0. So you differentiate this which is simple, so your dy dx is equal to 6x squared minus 6x minus 12 when you differentiate this now differentiate it 6x squared minus 6x minus 12 um, I'm really showing it, uh, we talk about the differentiate in the beginning right and now you yeah, just want the stationary point when this is equal to 0 so this is where you can whip out the calculator if you don't want to do any long this is actually like a one second thing but if you struggle with quadratics you can whip out your calculator and machine this quadratics again just now let me just double check the 6x squared minus 6 right so you go on your mode equation this one the third one I'm just putting 6 negative 6 and negative 12 equal 2 and negative 1 and B is the answer as a lot of people are saying so B is the answer once again hard luck sharp man <laughs> now there's a sharp there's a sharp that can do it but nowhere in the Caribbean really says that sharp you need to order down that sharp so if you have this calculator you get through it didn't make sense trying to find this calculator this later on well. no I, I've been preaching about this calculator for the whole day if you decided that you didn't want to get it and now you're realizing shocks I could really you really crunch some questions with this calculator too late it's too late 
Now some of your sharps could actually do it, you just didn't know it could do it. You go in mode and you search an equation, it not, it not laid out in a matrix format like this. Like you see where you can just put in the coefficients, it's not like that. It's, they ask the A and you have to type it, it's kind of a little clumsy, but you could still do it. And I have a video on that as well. So if you want to know the, the best you could get out of the, the sharp calculator, like if you see your sharp calculator has a solar panel, that means it could probably do it. So what you need to do is look up Kerwin Spring and Sharp Calculator, and I have, I have about seven videos going through all the different things you could do with your sharp calculator, especially quadratics and uh, no differentiation. Well, like some stuff with the logs and things will come in handy too. Outside calculator, oh, now if you didn't know how to, if you don't have the calculator, well, you just, the, you just factorize it simple, right? So x squared minus x minus 2. I just divide everything by 6. And so this has to be x minus, like I'll give for two numbers here. That'll give me negative 2, but add up to give me things. So you immediately see that as negative 2x plus x minus 2 equals 0. I don't need this brackets yet. Not yet. X into X minus 2. 1 into X minus 2. And you know how to go from here, right? X plus 1 equals 0. You get X is negative 1. You take 1 of this. X minus 2 equals 0. So X is equal to 2. And you'd arrive at that. Most people look at... Not most people. If you're practicing your maths one a long time, you can probably go from here to here very quickly and then you'd be able to spot the answer pretty fast. Why is in the chat if you understand that? Nice, Dar, you know what you're talking about. <laughs> well done, well done, Jerry, okay. Nice. So let me get another question. Let's see what other question people send for me. I'm going to check any student hub just now. All the student hubbers. This person sent me a full load of um, differentiation style questions, boy. So let's check another one. Um, so yeah, y is equal to f of x. They're giving you at the point, at the point seven four, this is an interesting question. A little topsy turvy. Excuse me. So they're saying dy dx is zero at this point. Cool. And or oh, there's a one second question there. Dy the two y the x squared. You know where they're coming from now. And then I said this is equal to zero. <laughs> is it a turning point? <laughs> is it a turning point? Are you going to ask what type of turning point this is? In other words, this is a question just like this question where we figured out the two y dx squared was positive, but they just given it up straight. So it's saying this is a curve. You have a point. Is a turning point. Hint, hint. And the 2y, okay, they're going to ask you what type of turning point or some kind of thing. What it, what it is. The point is a... Max, min, um, optimum point. Optimum, that, that has nothing to do with anything that you know. Optimum, that, as far, we did a little bit of that in engineering. It's like optimal point that is like point where the I don't want to say the wrong thing but it's the point where something works the best don't necessarily have to be a turning point um, inflection inflection that is where it was looking a little weird inflection inflection whatever I don't care Anyhow, the answer is B, minimum. Always this positive, always this minimum. If it's negative, maximum. If it's zero, cry. <laughs> I've never seen a situation where they bring it zero in a multiple choice. But if it's zero in like a paper two, you're supposed to test. You're supposed to do some tests. 
like to see how the gradient was before the point and after the point uh, and it's most it could be a point of inflection something could be a straight line could, could all kind of thing anyhow next question i'm looking all over it in my phone you could see Well, we could see with the equation y is equal to f of x as a stationary point. So more of the same then. Negative 2, 5. Right. And the same f double prime of x is equal to x4 minus 15. What is the nature of this again? More of the same. Let me just copy them same answers and again for that now. Again, fill up. Come different. I like this method. People send questions. Me and I have no idea where the questions come from. I just do the questions. Or just don't send me anything that I see in any CXC paper and any kind of thing else. CXC font. Anything that looking CXC wise, I'm, I'm looking for that kind of heat. I just doing questions here, writing it out, and explaining theory. Could be questions that you make up, your teacher make up, you get from wherever you get. Ting, ting, ting. Oh, go. Point of inflection goes like this. So it, the gradient is the same after the thing. Now. This gradient was positive. You had your turning point here, and then it was positive again. Instead of like positive, then negative, or negative, then positive. So some people saying B, some people saying A. Imagine you come from our next country now, and you try to understand what I say. And like, I know it's English. But then again, <laughs> then again, so it sounds a little like <laughs> suspect English. This is, I'm from Trinidad. Most of these students are from Carib um, the Caribbean. What is the Caribbean chime? Yes. What? Um, oh yeah, I was doing this. So you just substitute the x value all the time. All the same, right? So negative 2 to the power 4 minus 15. Negative 2 to the power 4 is actually 16. This is a close one. It was a close race, people. So 1. So since you get 1, it's still minimum. Negative 2 to the power of 4 is 16. 2 by 2 is 4. And 2 by 2 is 4. 4 by 4 is 16. And since you have negative and negative, positive. Negative, back to negative again. One more negative, back to positive. So any, anything to the power of an even number will always be positive. So... <laughs> nice. So let's get the next question. All right, this is a newish one. We have a question at d dx of the square root of seven x squared plus four. So you're differentiating a square root. There's a new face, a new style of question. You're just differentiating. You are differentiating. How big my hands is getting? I go close to the camera. You are differentiating. Next time I'm taking a, quick, a picture like this for the thumbnail. <laughs> you differentiate in that. And the answers are a little interesting. I mean the differentia differentiation kind of easy, straightforward. Let's see what what we what we get. So you all should be working on that right now. So you all notice how the square root dies to the bottom right there. So 7x and the square root of 7x squared plus 4. Um, see 7x uh, 2. There's a 2 in front there. Interest, interessante. Um, the, the 2 cancel with something on top there. And I'm so excited to see what's going to happen to this question. Why is there no x on this one? And 7x squared plus 4. So which answer you all feeling?
Oh, go on. Look at questions this person said. I'm coming through them questions just now. This person is the question boss. Let me see what's going on in the student. Huh? I gotta rename this video. I did 100 differentiation questions. Um, so I'm gonna send one easy thing in the student talk. You all again, some good questions here, so we just keep going. So the differentiating, if you, this can come differentiating with a square root. You know, as I add my student, your best that is to change this to 7x squared plus 4 to the power of a half. So you're really differentiating this. So we we differentiating that. So like you're thinking y is equal to that and you're differentiating that, right? So you have dy dx now. Now they didn't say anything about y actually here. So if it was a paper 2, you'd have to say let y, if you feel feeling y-ish, let y equal to that. Because y was never introduced as a variable in this. Could be anything. Um, so you're differentiating this whole function with respect to x um, so we could let y be equal to the whole function and instead of the square root you're just using the power like this because we we could deal with powers like that so you have when you have a situation where you have the brackets ax um to the power of n you show this an admax question i feel like they don't bring to the power and uh plus b um to the power of let me say m your method for differentiating this now is you're going to have to multiply by the differential of what's in the brackets. Because you can do the chain rule by just giving you the shortcut. So you're going in the any chain rule going to have you multiplying by the differential of this whole brackets. When you differentiate what's inside here, you're you're going to get a n x to the power of n minus one. The normal differentiation thing. A x n plus B, this will have to drop down by 1. Normal differentiation rules now. And you also need to multiply by the whole power. So, we got going to M here too now. Multiply by M. So, this is like the shortcut. Now, this is looking hell of a confusing. How to explain this a little better. So, let me say if we have Y is equal to 2X plus 1 to the squared. Just think of this as one whole thing, one whole thing. So like if you had y is equal to x squared, we know that this is y is equal to 2x, right? dy dx would be equal to 2x. So if y is equal to that, then dy dx will be equal to 2x. And the, this drops, excuse me, the power drops to 1. Let me make a 3 so that I could get to see clearly what happened in here with the power 3. This goes to 2 then. And instead of you know, multiply by the old power, which is 3. But they talk more accent than thing. Why is in the chat if you all following? Why is in the chat if you all following? So you multiply by 3 here. Uh, I just want to change this to 3. Nice. So 3, eh, swim. But there's a little problem here. You always have to multiply by the differential of what's in the brackets. So, multiply by 2 now. Hit them and multiply by 2 here. So, in this case, it's a little straightforward. In this case here, in the question, you have 7x squared. So, when you differentiate what's inside that brackets there, you can use the chain rule there. In fact, I might go ahead and use the chain rule and trail for those who love the chain rule. I'll go ahead and trail out to do it with the chain rule. Um, but, very quickly, you can do it in your mind. You would see that this is 7x squared plus 4. This has to drop by 1, so it's going to be negative a half, which is like sending it underneath. Ne a negative point in 1 over the thing to the positive version of itself, right? And the absolute value. So if you have like x to the power of negative 2, it's the same as 1 over x squared. So that's why this went underneath. And... What we multiplying by now? We're multiplying by the half. 
and you also multiply by the differential of this this so the when we differentiate set next squared we are going to actually get 14x think about it we are going to get 14x so in the end this comes and it square root of 7x squared plus 4 the half will interact with the 14 so you'll end up with just 7x so the best answer for this is B. Did we get any B's? Not a single answer to this question. I've seen some B's, but I think there's one B4. Hmm. Why is it each other if you understand this? So the answer is B. Let's try this question very quickly. Um, using the full chain rule. For those who know the chain rule. So you'll start off with your let y be equal to the 7x squared plus 4 uh, to the power of a half. So therefore, the y dx, so you're going to actually say u is equal to 7x squared plus 4. You all remember that? So du dx is going to be equal to 14x. Nice. Let's see what will end up multiplying in the, in the long run. And now... Since you say u is equal to that, you have really y is equal to u to the power of a half. So dy, the u, is equal to u to the power of negative a half. Multiply by a half. And now you just bring them together. Hmm, you bring them together. So in the end, you're going to end up with dy dx is going to be equal to du dx multiplied by dy you so running out of space here so let's send you across there why is my ipad working so good tonight like i feel a little suspicious everything just working good good boy <laughs> so the new dx will be 14x by Ah, you see how tiring this chain rule is, right? I'm fed up. So when you, to re, you reintroduce what you really is now, you was really this, it was that all along. You was just substituted. We was just playing you all. So the two will interact with this. You'll end up with 7x, and you'll end up with the same u, which was um, this solia all along, square root of 7x squared plus 4. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice. Right, but most people in the Caribbean here, we don't know Hindi at all. The only thing I know in Hindi is Sari, Sari, Gama, Padani, Sao, something like that. I see Doremi Fasolati do. Um, so, Type what it is. I used to know that because I I, I good in music and I, I learned some stuff in music. That's why I said chain rule is too long. So you can just use the method in your mind and probably in the end come back to um, chain rule. Obviously you can use a calculator to double check your answer as well. Yes, you can use a calculator to double check your answer by. by substituting a value so putting a sleeper value inside there so like where x is you just i i tell students so let's use the number 10 that's a number that works really good for the cxc questions so you differentiate this let me just show you quickly what i mean you you for like 99 percent of the questions it will work so you differentiate this is a little trick you can use especially those who are really good to, to double check your answer if you're feeling a little paranoid so 7 x squared plus 4 and let's say we want to when x is equal to 10 so you get 2 point so you write that down on whatever you're writing you think 2.6382 so now you just substitute in x equals to 10 in these you understand how we're do now you just substitute x equals to 10 in these in the answers they give you and which one ever give you that is the answer so you you like uh, all right bro that's what we're looking for let's say seven 
by 10 uh, I'll be in the middle one one time right because I know that is the answer um, B that is 7 by 10 squared so 700 plus 4 so it's really 704 I already just do the calculation in my mind 7 x squared 10 yeah, I hope you all understand what I do so x squared 10 squared 100 by 7 700 plus 4 704 I can do the 7 by 10 is 71 times 2.638 you get the answer this was actually pretty fast but it'll take a little longer if I had to check all the answers to see which one gave me the correct answer the only problem we could run into is if they devise the answers such that two give very close to the and same answer or either the same answer like they come up with something that will match and if they do that anyhow if two of them give any the same answer it's probably the it's probably a, um, a problem with the question why isn't it just if you understand this double checking method or if you want to try this method in um, if you couldn't differentiate it for some reason you have a way out uh, I would say maybe about 80% of the questions in the paper one you could you could ram it with the calculator you could ram it right so let's see what else is supposed to for we here I'll okay, keep the chat to English keep the chat to English okay we out here the person who made this guy that was fed up <laughs> true true so true all right so this person sent me some integration a whole bowl of integration and some more integration so let me do some integration Jen for the win boy all right so integrate oh gosh let me tell you something one time CXC notorious for bringing questions like this from the time they bring a question like this da 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 boom answer then do it written out and you're good to like your calculator just do not match up this question because that definite integral meaning that you, you know exactly from what to what you're going you're integrating between two x values you're integrating between a lower and a upper limit so you just you just say Cassio boy we overworking myself today we overworking myself today but doom uh, let's put in our two don't worry about the limits we'll come up to that that is how they can be 5x or oh, when you're doing this watch out there eh? make sure you close this bracket anytime you bring in cos right you close that brackets 2 cos x with respect to add uh, that looking good to me and that looking good to me and you put a little zero there then you go up again and you put a pi on two shift pi on two you get two fifths and you look at the answers what answers what this person was suggesting <laughs> jamar jamar getting real mad at this calculator so the answers this person had was like two fifths so the answer is a right uh, b uh negative two fifths no, we don't. We, we'll pass. We'll pass. C, uh, 10, and D, negative 10. So this is just here to chain you up if you make a little mistake. So how do you do the, How do you actually do this question now for Jamar? Let's. How do you actually do this question? Where you integrate. You integrate, and then you work it out with any two limits. So if we integrate this, we will actually get 2 sine 5x. But you also need to multiply by mm, you also need to divide we integrate to be double checked to be double checked I'll, I'll just figure it out very quick because I this so possibly 2 fifths or possibly 10 and we are substituting pi and 2 you substitute in zero sine of zero is, one, is zero so it's just pi and two. all right let me just get this quick um, two first sign i should not even write it there to hot up anybody here we substitute pi
What did I do? And we had glitters in as much as their first mistake. Alright, so you integrate this. You integrate this, you get 2 fifths sine 5x. So you're, you're dividing by this when you different you do 5x now. It's like a chain look at that effect. If my can see a cut out, I will open out. So you 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 differentiate this, so the differential of that is 5. The differential of 5x is 5. So you end up dividing by 5 and everything else remains the same. You, 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 the integral of cos x is sin x because when you differentiate sin x you get cos x so cool 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 um two fifths sin five x so between the limits of pi and two and zero but if i substitute zero in there this will be sine of zero sine of zero is zero so it's really like i just substituted pi and two inside here and your answer will be two fifths sine five of pi on two Plug that in your calculator, make sure it's in radians, and the answer you will get is 2 fifths. Sine of 5 pi and 2. 5 pi and 2. Sine of 5 pi and 2. You're back to 1. Yeah, you're back to 1. Yeah, you go back to 1 here at 5 pi and 2. Sine of pi and 2 1, so sine of 5 pi and 2, you'll end up some 590 degrees down the road, so you end up back to 1. Alright, yeah, makes sense. Cool. So, any tip when they don't give you the limits, substitute that sleeper. Yeah. Alright, ask mommy. I'm in a live session. So, if they didn't give you limits, like they ask you, for the answer itself. So they ask you when you integrate 2 sine 5x 2 cos 5x sorry. You, all, you need to understand the little sleeper technique I gave you. 2 cos 5x and they ask you with respect to x and they ask you what is the integral of that soldier and they have answers. You see the pro Oh yeah, excuse me for a second next. Let's get be serious. I'll come back in one minute. Yo! Alright, so we're back. Okay, 
So if they give you this and they ask you to differentiate, and we already know that the answer is two fifths. Two fifths sine five x, right? But you don't know. You don't know. Some of, sorry, integrate. You don't know how to integrate it. You're just sneaking a little number. So you just say, all right, between zero to ten. You put in a number. So then, you understand what I do? It's like you create this situation, and then you come in now to check the answers and see if when ten goes in there, if it works. That's if you have the Casio. Uh, it just, I tell you, like ninety percent of the questions, you can just run for it if you have the Casio. Anyhow, next question. There are some interesting questions here with integration. Um, if f, this is one way you can ask an integration question as well. f prime x, a would be negative cos x plus c, or b, negative sine x plus c, or c, sine x plus c, or d, cos x plus c. Which one of these will it be? So now I'm saying him, who I'm saying? Who is Joshan? Joshan. I see Joshan. I haven't seen that name. So what in these sentences do you know? None. <laughs> Absolutely none. Yeah, and this is not CXC maths. This is CXC add maths. A totally different subject. Well, not totally different, but it's a different subject. So, f prime x is equal to sine x, then f of x is equal to e, da, 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 da. Which one is it? Everybody saying d? For the two time, hard luck shot. <laughs> Alright, so yes, um, <coughs> there's, like, there's a one second question, right? They basically ask you to integrate sine x integrate sine x so you know when you differentiate sine x is get cos x straight if i integrate it it should be negative cos x plus d see why people say d integrate sine x am i missing something here jared and all say in d terry can all say in d Alright, well, they probably didn't realize the integration. You're starting off, is like you're starting off with dy dx is equal to sine x. So what is y? You understand? So you are really integrating. You are really integrating. And this is something you would have known very quickly if you were doing the paper too, because you'd have to learn this and study this for the um motion motion the motion pattern and maths with the speed acceleration that kind of thing so a brandon a right a lot of people say weird answers boy it's not b it's not c we know that because they'll have a switch but it's not b it's actually a you are integrating when you differentiate okay let me just verify this once and for all sine x differentiate you're going to get cos x cos x differentiate you're going to get negative sine x so as you should note like if i put a negative here if i get differentiate negative sine x i'll put a negative here but negative here, differentiating negative cos x by negative here, it turns positive. So differentiating negative cos x, you get positive sine x, right? So that's, that's cool. But if we are integrating, if we are integrating, we are going backwards. So integrating cos x gives me sine x. Integrating sine x will actually give me negative cos x. 
So that's why I integrate in this sine x is negative cos x. Cool. Uh -huh. It's how I'm doing this in the middle of the night. The whole other part of the world up right now. Right now it's, it's, it's hot sun across the day. So that's why everybody jumping on the life. Let's pick out another question. Given this one a little more turn up. Given that this now oh yeah I remember I think this question I'm mistaken it now. Somebody send this a a quarter b three quarter tell me what's the method you're going to use to solve this question d 45 over 4 what method are you going to use to solve this question Jashan Kumar, I don't know any Hindi sentences. Hail to you, bro. Me and the Kaji, that's a best friend since then. So what's the, what, what's the idea behind this? What is this testing? What is this question testing? It is easy once you, once you know what to do. Somebody say trial and error. It's not trial and error question. It's hard to trial and error this question. I have no training here. Shout out what country you're from in the chat. Let me just see who it is already teaching out here. Next time I'm teaching nobody from the Caribbean here and I'm just the whole of the um, east side teaching here. Shout out which country you're from? Trinidad, Jamaica, Barbados, India, Australia, South Korea. Shout out your country and your school. Alright, so this is assessing how to manipulate the integral. Um, this 4 could rock back and actually commonly in this 9. So we're really saying that f of x is 9 over 4. So 3 minus 9 over 4. Okay, I'd say real fast. Real fast. So we, we, we carry it here, man. Answer is B. 3 quarters. How much we call in B? Zane said B. You know, Zane is the only person who answered a question. Y'all, there are some questions that y'all not prepared for. This person who sent me the questions, you're still here? Just WhatsApp me if you're anyway, I will WhatsApp you. Um, there are some really interesting questions here. Um... If you have that in there, you can take that out of there. He can run back. He can come out. If you have integral between two limits, I say 0 and 10, and you have 6 plus f of x, this is the same as the integral between 0 and 10 of 6 plus the integral between 0 and 10 of f of x. And a constant between two limits will be the constant. 
I think. Let me just think about that a little bit. Zero to ten. Ten. No, it would not be the constant. I need to double check this. So which means I need to double check this answer. So the integral between zero and ten of six six x six x so six times this six times ten so sixty oh let we just double check what's going to happen here boys so that may not be the answer I may be wrong copy and peace are you pay attention to this one nobody answered this one correctly 4 f of x dx equal 9 bring this across the integral between 2 and 5 f of x is really equal to 9 over 4 that's a law that's a law so now we know what f of x is so let me just simplify this so there a little bit so this is the integral between 2 and 5 3 minus the integral between 2 and 5 f of x all this is with respect to x right I don't know if you need to write it so um this is already 3x between 2 and 5 minus and we already know what you are you told us who you were long time long time so now 15 minus 6 what was the number I had before 3 by itself ah so it, you know, problems problems in the camp 15 minus 6 is actually 9 in all I get 15 right putting that 15 minus 6 is actually 9 so 9 minus 9 and a quarter excuse me 27 over 4 so the answer is why is in each other if you get this why is in each other if you understand that C so somebody else saying C solve the 10 seconds Oh yeah, somebody was saying C, logic, logic geek. Simple properties and is that. So yes, logic geek did. Sorry, logic. Sorry, Lachi, you did say the correct answer. Um Why, but after a while, somebody say out, they get tired. All right, let me do two more. I'll get tired. There's only one hour and 28 minutes, you know. Mm. Let me find an interesting one. Some of these questions looking like they're from back in the back in time. Okay, let me just do this question here. A question like this should come. What will be the expression for obtaining the volume of this? <coughs> if it's rotating 360. The shaded region. Shaded region is called of a circle, right? So if you rotate, rotate that 360 and it forms a wait now. Is it spherical? Yes, it is. You can find this oh no no, they want an expression, but you could actually find this answer. You could actually find this answer without doing any integration. It's, it's half of a sphere. But um they want that they want the expression. So like what would be the expression for finding, which means you could ratch this question if you don't know how to integrate. What is the which one of these is correct for finding the volume? This is easy thing to you know. But I guess if you don't know it, you will just you can then just lose the marks. Rotate it about the x-axis. They can Cut up your head and say rotate it about the y axis too. That's perfectly legal. Pi times the integral. Nice, nice. Ah. Um. 
last one pi zero two yeah but true last happened to hit me for some reason x squared dx let me see if I've seen any other new style of questions not really you know So what I'm going to do, uh, I will have this one o'clock I'm coming back and I'm going to be doing tomorrow I'll do some more admats again. Let me just check my timetable here. Why is y'all give me the answer? Logic, you have an answer for this one? No, I'm not going to do that term. That's not tested. That's not tested with CXE. Okay. Nice, nice. Let me just make sure. Y'all could always check on YouTube, uh, see when I come in live, on, on Instagram, sorry. Pure maths is Sunday from 1, maths is Sunday from 7 p.m. So Saturday, tomorrow, we can do some more admats. So I don't want to say 1 in the afternoon, in case I have something to do now. So to be sure, around 4. But if I come on like around 1 o'clock, we inside. But I would take, I will just be doing questions. Questions upon questions upon questions. For admats. Any question, I'll just be going in. Question, explaining anything in admats that you want to know. And I'll just be doing questions upon questions upon questions. And maybe you could do a marathon. Maybe you could reach 4 hours. Maybe you could even reach 6 hours if, it, if, if things are running nice. Um, I said, it's a dropping energy in myself here. Everybody cool with that? Like tomorrow from like, if I come on one, like one to five, one to six, or if I come on like four o'clock, like from four to nine, somewhere there. I feel if I come on one, it would be better. So that um, we could not die now. Yeah, so how you do this? Pi integral y squared with respect to x now in this case when you make y squared it will turn the subject and you formula 4 minus x squared so you don't even need to do anything you just leave it like that 4 minus x squared pi thing answer is b yeah oh, that's something good post on ig when you're going live yes i'll post on ig so most likely 1 pm well you know things is a rule sometimes like tonight, today I was supposed to come on since 5, but my wife was ill. And part of the reason I can do this is because, you all know I have two children, right? So part of the reason I can do this is because when I'm online, she can watch them. Like, you see how chubby is about right now? So, um, that's why I, ha I had to leave just now. So hopefully she's good tomorrow and I can come on 1 to 6 and give her massive. Okay, 1 to 6, something like a press? Well then, Janaya is the MVP. So we'll come on and we'll do some of that. So when we come in Wednesday, it could be a little recapping vibes. Now. Um, also, if you are a new, a form four student, and you know that you are going to do be doing admats next year, message this number right on here. So message that number. WhatsApp that number and join my online class. It's 200 TT a month. That will be the best thing for you. Ever. If you're doing pure maths next year, save this number in your phone registration. Not open yet, but very likely I'll be doing Unit 1. And there are some people who did Unit 1 with me this year in the pure maths class. You could ask them. Best thing ever. Being in any one of my classes is the best thing ever that you can do it yourself because you'll be exposed to the latest information the class will be the best 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 and it'll be like two hours every week assignments given double check 
the chatters be lit. The people need chat is normally the high achievers. So like the, some of the people in my um pure maths group top CXC last year, like I mean top ten in CXC, eighteen subjects and them kind of thing. So feel free to save that number on your phone and get ready for the bell ring, you'll be inside. So the rotation in the y-axis, it was in the x-axis. The question was x-axis. If the rotation was in the y-axis, you just make x the subject of the formula. Alright, okay. so we can see a little 1 p.m. We'll start. I feel we'll start with tricks. Because I keep doing a lot of laws and, and, and well, I do some calculus tonight. So we'll start with tricks, which is what mo most people are enemy. And then maybe we'll come back into module 1. Then we'll swing back into module 3. Five hours, we can do plenty of things. See you all then. Love and blessings. Don't forget to press like on your way out. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Days where you know for sure what I'm coming through with. Um, and also join the student hub. Everything there at the student hub. If you wanna get resources, if you wanna get solution sheets, them kind of thing, join the student hub. Pure mat. Yeah boy. I leave in the part of the reason I leave in two is because my next son wake up. That is what Chabby come and tell me. Yeah. So, so from one o'clock tomorrow, we need dance. How much questions we do? About 20 questions. The thing is, <laughs> the pure math, the ad maths, multiple choice is 45 questions. And I think it's five and five questions. Five and five questions each. Five questions differentiation, five questions integration. And earlier, them five questions is like they're picking these ten questions out of a fifteen question question bank. It's real sad with safety. So unless something strange happen in this exam, it's fifteen questions they have, and they're gonna pick ten questions. It's just repeat, it just repeats, level repeats for this. It's just ridiculous. But anyway, we're going and study. Try and get as much of advance as we can get tomorrow. I'm going to keep talking and keep on your back. Go and get your sleep. Bless up. I'm going to call some names. Amaris, Janaya, Veronique, Felicia, um, Reshfish, uh, Mikhail, Darion, Javish, Jared, Adam, Beast, uh, Kajim, Figman, Jamar, Farnaz, Antonio, um, Matthew, Troy, Takima. Brandon, Logic Geek, G Advance. Everybody from India always talking about the G Advance exams. They love the exams. Jamal, how to join the student? How? Hmm. I can't believe you're asking that all now. Hopefully, you didn't do no exams because you'll kick yourself if you go inside the student. <laughs> Imagine if you're struggling for resources and you go inside the student hub and you see 8,000 students inside there now and things are flying all over the place. The student hub. On Instagram, if you do have Instagram and you don't want to open back out your Instagram because you feel you get tempted for social media or whatever, just search at the student hub Instagram on Google and you'll be able to click the link in the bio. So you click the link in the biography at the, at the top of this profile at the underscore student hub and as I invite you, just be inside the student hub. As a matter of fact, I'm not saying any invite right now. If I could. If I could. Every time I open Discord, it'll be like a little kind of scary thing right now. Um, I do. I, I just had to delete too much things now, so. I'm a team doing what they need to do. Excuse me. Ting, 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 ting. Invite people. Copy. This is a short term invite. So you click there, you should get through. Alright, I actually I accidentally put something else in it. Yeah, click that, you will get through. Later. I like will expire, so that link will expire, so don't take too long. 